Good morning, John. It's Sunday. I'm a student at University High School of Indiana, and this summer the entire student body read The Fault in Our Stars as our summer reading book, and we want you to come speak. You get to come talk to some of the most interesting and diverse and thoughtful students that I've ever met, some of whom are longtime nerd fighters, and some of whom reading this book was their very first introduction to you as an author. I could tell you a whole bunch of great things about my school and the students who go there, but I think I'll let them speak for themselves. John Green, you should come here. You live five seconds from here, so I could probably pick you up on, on my way to school if that's easiest. I think the biggest opportunity that I've had at university that I would not have anywhere else was I'm able to be myself. I can be open about who I am. I get to be exactly 100% who I am, and that feels great. We may not have a swim team or a swimming pool, but what we do have is a kick butt student body that starts other things like LARPing club and Star Trek club, both of which I was a part of. About two weeks ago, I decided to play soccer, just pick it up. That day, I was on the team. Uh, I don't think you could uh, do that at many other schools. School is like very motivating for like starting new things, so like people just start fishing clubs and stuff. I started this thing called One Million Teams for LGBT Rights. It's basically um, a Facebook page targeted for teenagers and involvement in LGBT rights. We have yet to do something with, like, <laughs> <laughs> but we got plans. So we didn't have a publication at our school or a newspaper or anything. I started something called the U-Post, which is an online publication. At most schools, it would probably be really hard for a student to just come up with an idea actually implement it. Well, there's a lot of freedom. I feel like the students and the faculty have um, a nice relationship where it's more mutual as opposed to superiority. I'm doing an independent study in prison culture in America. It's a completely like self-motivated form of study and I think that university trusts me enough to allow me to do what I want to do, do things I'm passionate about. Freshman year, J term was paranormal studies. I learned a lot about the uh, paranormal arts and the uh, just the, the beauty of the subject. I feel like I am a semi-professional. Uh, <laughs> so I am a huge fan of science fiction and fantasy novels, and when I found out that there was a speculative fiction class, I was super excited. Basically, what I got to do for that class was read a ton of my favorite books and short stories. Well, we spent two weeks studying the national parks, and then we got to go to Yosemite for a week and hike. That was awesome. Well, I got to go to Europe this past summer. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Purple. <laughs> <laughs> John Green. <laughs> oh, John Green. You are you are a lovely man. I've watched so many of your videos. Even if I didn't like get to meet you if you came here, even if I just got to hear you talk, that would just be absolutely incredible. Well, first of all, John Green has created an unrealistic expectation of boys for me. So <laughs> they're Thanks, also John. perfect. Please come. We really want you. So please come. I've watched literally every Vlogbrothers video. Including the one where you made a disgusting milkshake thing. Oh, um, yeah, it that was, was a blended Happy Meal. It, we get that here. We would, no one here is going to drink a blender as Happy Meal for you, I'm really sorry. Naomi says she will. Come to University High School, we have students dedicated enough to drink a blender as Happy Meal. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> Ew! It's a little citrusy. Water! 